Hi, I'm Joni Petrie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about a very interesting chart of a musician that I just love. I think his music is beautiful. I've loved it since the 80s and when I really want to relax, I always turn on Yanni. Yanni is his name. He is a Greek composer that has put together, it was like very metaphysical type music in the 80s, but he put together these music, electronic sounds, mystical sounds, and he would incorporate the sounds and musics of different countries. And he would go to extremely beautiful locations such as the Acropolis, and do these amazing concerts. So I want to show you Yanni's chart because Yanni's chart really does depict the talent and the wealth and success and most of all sudden unexpected events where money comes as a huge windfall. His chart is a great example of sudden events and how astrology really works. So let's put up the chart of Yanni and let's study more about what he is all about. So let's put up Yanni up here. Now we don't have Yanni's birth time. So what we do when we don't have a birth time in Vedic astrology is we make the moon the ascendant. We call it Chandra Lagna, moon is the ascendant. So we're going to do that. Now, Yanni was born here November 14th, 1954. So in Kalamatra, Greece. So looking at this chart, we're going to make Gemini the ascendant. So counting from Gemini's the ascendant, look to where the fifth house is all those beautiful planets and powerfully placed in the fifth house. And look at that. He has got Venus, Sun, Saturn, Mercury, and Neptune all in Libra, fifth from the moon. It's remarkable because Venus is in its own sign. Saturn is exalted in Libra and the fifth house is the house of creativity. This, this man was a genius creatively. Truly he was. And not to mention the moon being next to K2 does make someone very deep, very profound, inward, intuitive. And in the sign of Gemini, he was a great communicator. All this air in his chart a lot of air. Remember when music is pushing air. He was a musician and so very, very talented with Venus being in Libra with exalted Saturn. Now I know the sun is debilitated, but remember anytime a planet that's debilitated is next to a planet that's exalted, the debilitation is pretty much canceled. So that takes care of that. Now there's two other planets that you can't take your eyes off, I know, and that is exalted Jupiter. And it's almost exactly conjunct Uranus. And this is one of my points because actually this is a chart that I use in my new book, Uranus. And this chart, this, this book is all about the effects of Uranus on a person. So check it out. It's on Amazon, brand new book, Uranus the Awakener, the, the Great Awakener. And I love this planet because it really brings things into being said when we least expect it. Now, Uranus is right next to Jupiter in the second house from the moon. This is sudden awakenings and sudden what? Windfalls of money. Uranus conjunct Jupiter is so powerful for wealth and money. And the tighter the orb, the better. They are within three degrees. They are really, really tight. So exalted Jupiter in Cancer. <clears throat> it's almost at its exact degree of exaltation, which is five degrees of Cancer, Jupiter six. How lucky is that? 
But opposing Jupiter Uranus is Mars in Capricorn. Realize that Capricorn is its exaltation sign. So Mars is off the chart strong. He's got Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter all exalted, Venus in its own sign. Wow, what a chart. And Mars casting its rays and its aspects to Jupiter. I've seen so many charts that have Mars and Jupiter exalted aspecting each other by opposition. They mutually exchange. That's unbelievable, really. So this is a powerful, incredible chart on all cost. All the planets represented here are remarkable. So the one thing that I really wanted to point out too is a time when Yanni really broke out and became mega wealthy. This was a windfall. <clears throat> Let me just say, it was in 1993 when he planned a concert at the Acropolis. And he put up all of his money, $2 million, everything he had, he put into this concert, <clears throat> knowing that it would be, <clears throat> excuse me, an, a success. And it was off the charts because if he couldn't have planned it better astrologically. Looking at this chart, consider this, that transiting Uranus, when he, when he had that concert at the Acropolis, it was one degree of Capricorn. So let's put the transits there and look, this was when he did that concert which was in 1990, 1993, but he didn't put it up and release the video that he made of the concert at the Acropolis till 1994. But in 1993, when Uranus was one degree of Capricorn, it was aspecting the Uranus Jupiter in the second house. Remember Uranus can deal with sudden unexpected windfalls of energy. And here it is in the eighth house, money through other people, big money. And it's aspecting the Jupiter Uranus in the second house. It deals with the money he makes. So this was a big, big, big trigger. But the other trigger was this transiting Jupiter during that time between 1993 and 1994. Transiting Jupiter was in Libra. Oh my God, talk about a lucky time. Jupiter was crossing over all those planets in the fifth house, Venus, Sun, Saturn, Mercury, and Neptune, activating it all the more. And let me tell you about this concert. He put on this unbelievable concert. He performed it at the Acropolis in Greece, in Athens. And then if this video that he filmed, he was broad, broadcast on PBS. And let me just say this, it was the best concert, best selling second best-selling concert of all time. Check it out. It's amazing. It's a masterpiece. And he knew it. It's the second, of course, the first best-selling video of all time is Michael Jackson's Thriller. But this one is second best. It was seen in 65 different countries around the world with a half a billion people seeing it. It sold 7 million copies. And that's not even to date, they're still selling. So this sold around the world. And man, did he strike it big with this success story. He only put $2 million in. I don't know how many millions he made out of it. At one point, I think I read it was over 50 million, but that was years ago. 
this made him a fortune. And it's all because of the transit of Uranus aspecting in his eighth house, aspecting his Jupiter Uranus in the second and transiting Jupiter going over all of his planets in the fifth house. Fifth house deals a lot with money and wealth, just like the eighth and the second do. And if you consider Jupiter's on Venus, which rules the 11th house, wait, Ju Venus rules the fifth house, excuse me. Mars rules the 11th house that deals with gains and transiting Uranus was approaching Mars as well, exalted in the eighth house. Now, one more thing I, wanna, I want to point out in this chart that you can see that this is going to be an individual of great wealth. He has a perfect Lakshmi Yoga from the moon. So what is a Lakshmi Yoga? Well, of course, Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth. And if you will look, in order to have a Lakshmi Yoga, here's the rules. Venus must be in its own sign or exalted, and the ruler of the first house must be strong, and the ruler of the ninth house must be strong. And it's even better when they aspect one another, the ruler of the first and the ruler of the ninth. Let's see if that works out. So yes, he's got Venus in Libra. Remember, Venus can only be exalted or in its own sign. So therefore, Venus has to be in Pisces, Taurus, or Libra. Otherwise, you can't have a Lakshmi Yoga. So he's got Venus in Libra, first thing. The ruler of the first is Mercury. Mercury is extraordinarily strong by being placed in the fifth house. It's even in the sign of a friend. Now, the ruler of the ninth house, is it strong and placed well? Yes, the ruler of the ninth house is Saturn, exalted in the fifth house. Doesn't get much better than that. Plus, the ruler of the ninth and the ruler of the first aspect each other. They're in the same sign in Libra. Perfect Lakshmi Yoga. He had it coming ever since he was born, but at least we can see the timing when it all prevailed. What an amazing life. What an amazing chart. What an amazing talent. And you can see it all in the chart. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like to learn more about me or get a consultation, sign up for my free newsletter. Please go to my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And if you would love to study Vedic astrology with me, become a professional astrologer. I will teach you everything I know. Go to my university, check it out. University of Vedic Astrology.com. Thank you.